In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you to Uganda Catholic Television this Friday morning, the 12th day of January 2024. And we thank the Lord for the gift of life and the gift of this new day. And we thank you also for choosing Uganda Catholic Television to start up your day by listening to the Word of God and hearing our reflection. Today in our ministry, the first reading will be proclaimed by Sister Beatrice Wanyenze of the Sisters of Mary of Kakamega here in Tororo Community. The responsorial psalm and uh, the gospel acclamation will be proclaimed by Sister Vitalis Asio of the same congregation. And I am Father Aloysius Opio Opio taking the gospel and the reflection. Let us now listen to the readings be being proclaimed to us. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Behold, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now appoint for us a king to govern us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to govern us. And Samuel prayed to the Lord, and the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being, or from being king over them. So Samuel told all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking a king from him. He said, This will be the ways of the king who will rule over you. He will take your sons and appoint them to his chariots and to be his horsemen and to run before his chariots and he will appoint for himself commanders of thousands and commanders of fifties and some to plow his ground and to reap his harvest and to make his implements of war and the equipment of his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vine vineyards and olive orchards and give them to his servants. He will take the tenth of your grain and of your vineyards and give it to his officers and to his servants. And the best of your cattle and your donkeys and put them to his work. He will take the tenth of your flocks and you shall be his slaves. And in that day, you will cry out because of your king, whom you have chosen for yourselves, but the Lord will not answer you in that day. But the people refused to listen to the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but we will have a king over us, that we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may govern us and go out before us and fight our battles. And when Samuel had heard all the words of the people, he repeated them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to their voice, 
and make them a king. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. How blessed the people who know your praise, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice their joyful acclaim. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor, it is that our might is exalted. Behold, the Lord is our shield. He is the Holy One of Israel, our King. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Halle, halle, halle. prophet has risen among us and God has visited his people. Halle, halle, halle. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home and many were gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even about the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the pallet on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak like this? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they questioned like this within themselves, said to them, Why do you question like this in your hearts? Which is easier? To say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, take up your pallet and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, take up your pallet and go home. And he rose and immediately took up the pallet and went out before them all so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In times of need, that is when we often realize who indeed our friends are, we come to appreciate those who stand by us in times of difficulty, We come to appreciate those who suffer with us when we are suffering. And indeed, the saying that no one is an island is indeed true. 
and we need one another. Even when it comes to our faith journey, we are also dependent on one another. We are supported on our journey towards the Lord by others. For many of us who were baptized uh, during our infancy, we were supported by the faith of our parents and of our godparents. And also in our day-to-day -day lives, we are supported, for instance, by the people who minister to us, the priests, the catechists, and so many other people who help us to realize the goodness of the Lord. In today's gospel, the paralyzed man is in need of healing and he completely had to depend on his friends who, out of great faith and commitment, did everything possible to ensure that their friend meets the mercy and the healing of our blessed Lord Jesus Christ. Their struggle to make their paralyzed friend reach Jesus was inspired by their faith. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said to the paralytic, My child, your sins are forgiven. The faith of his friends allowed this man to meet Jesus personally and to hear this very personal and liberating statement from the Lord. Before his healing, the paralytic needed reassurance that God loved him unconditionally and had forgiven him his sins. The fact that this man came for healing and Jesus instead starts by forgiving his sins should be or might be surprising even to us. But our Lord Jesus Christ is indeed showing us that the healing and forgiveness work hand in hand. And indeed, the forgiveness of sin is a bigger and greater miracle. If the paralytic remained paralyzed or remained sick in, with his paralysis, he would suffer probably up to death. And that would be the end of his suffering with paralysis. But if his sins were not forgiven, his suffering would continue even after death. And he would suffer eternal damnation. Jesus Christ is indeed our Savior, not only of our body, but also of our souls. And we indeed need our sins forgiven if we are supposed to receive blessings. Brothers and sisters, once again from this gospel, we learn to be true friends, to be those who are going to have our faith inspire others. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever, shall be, world without end. Amen. Once again, many thanks for being loyal to Uganda Catholic Television, and we wish you the very best of this day and of this weekend. May God's blessings be upon you, and may your faith inspire others to meet the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wishing you a blessed day, and I am Father Loisius Opio Opio from the Archdiocese of Tororum.